Shalom, Shalom. Kohalayim la Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He is or He is this. Ba is in. Ha is the. Sham is name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which means He saves or He delivers. When you call upon your Lord in power, you must say Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Machasala Habakiyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. I'm your fellow servant, Tham Yadi. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland, here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, people of Negroid and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth from among the heathens. Do we say Shalom out of one Ratazah, but now what this is an edifying lesson. <clears throat> it's going to be another, you know, quick lesson, various topics, man. You know, um, Hey, we, we, we're patiently waiting. We're patiently waiting until the Heavenly Father just, just, just take this place completely down, man. We're going to rejoice. We're going to praise the Heavenly Father. We're going to rejoice and we're going to praise the Heavenly Father. Just like the, 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 the song of Deborah in the book of Judges, the fifth chapter. We're going to praise the Heavenly Father when we get to destroy our enemies, man. Right? These devils, they rejoice and they celebrate it when you go into the book of Lamentations 2.15. I, I believe that's the, the, the verse. It said that this is the day we found. This is what we look for. These devils rejoiced, right? So y'all got to get, re the, the heavenly father is going to allow us to get recompense on all our enemies. The Lord said that in Jeremiah the 30th chapter, it says, uh, uh, and every, all the adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Rough, we paraphrase. Isaiah, I meant Salaki, Jeremiah 30 and 16. You can read that verse, man. So every one of our enemies, they're going to go into captivity. Where are the enemy, enemies of Israel found? In uh, the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. So all these heathens, they're going to, in, the, in the captivity. Another word for captivity is slavery. No matter where everybody, no matter where nobody else say, man. Right? No matter what, you know, um, Sambo-ass niggas say. No matter what, right, uh, uh Vocab, no class Malone say all these heathen nations, they going into slavery, man. Right? And we patiently waiting until the to that day. Right? Oh, and, and pursuant to the scriptures, what's that? Psalms 149. Psalms 149th chapter, man. Matter of fact, I'll get that because that's a that's a that's a quick, not long chapter. Right? So Psalms 49, 149 and 1, praise ye the heavenly father. We're praising the heavenly father. We're exalting the name of the heavenly father when we do these lessons. We got on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. That's how we praise the heavenly father. We exalt his name and his and his doctrine. Okay? And this is the doctrine of the heavenly father. The, the scripture tell you that in uh, the book of Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, it said that his doctrine shall drop down like dew. Let, let me see if I can get, let me see if that Deuteronomy 32. Around the top of the verse. Uh, yeah, cut. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. What is the, the doctrine of the Heavenly Father? What you hear the apostles and the elders and the brothers of the like-minded uh, uh, doctrine uh, pushing, man. This is the doctrine of the Heavenly Father. The Edomites going to go, all our enemies going to go into slavery. That's a part of the doctrine of the Heavenly Father. America going to be destroyed. America's Babylon the Great. The MOTB pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16 is the is the is the C to the H to the I to the P. That's the doctrine of the Heavenly Father, man. Right? It says, My doctrine shall drop as the rain. It says, uh, and that's the spirit, because when it rains, man, it covers everything. Okay? So that's the, the this this understanding of the Heavenly Father is gonna it's gonna uh, cover and consume everything, man. Right? All these other philosophies and shit like that, man. The heavenly Father, his doctrine is gonna like the like the saying go, reign supreme, man. Okay. So it says, my speech shall distill us the dew. Ooh, the dew, which the apostle, the beloved apostle to heart, I love where he break it down about the dew because that's how the heavenly Father used to water the earth, um, before it rained. Okay. When you wake up in the morning and that's, it's that mist that covers everything, man. So that's how the Heavenly Father's speech is going to be. It's going to be like the dew is going to cover everything, man. Right? It says, as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Verse 3, because I will publish the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shabbat Shabbat. Publish means to make, to, to make public. 
So we're publicizing the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his beloved son, Yahweh Shai. It says, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. Okay, so going back to Psalms 149 and 1. It says, praise ye, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Sing unto the Lord a new song in his praise in the congregation of, his, of the saints. Right, who are the saints? Let's get the saints. Psalms 148 and 14. It says, uh, he also exalted the horn of his pe his people. His is a possessive pronoun because the heavenly father only has one nation of people that he deals with. Right? No matter what nobody else say about it. Right? It says, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Y'all by Shem Shah. So we're the saints, man. Right? Okay? Saints goes back to the Latin word santos, which goes back to the Hebrew word chodash, which means holy and set apart. We're holy and set apart from these other nations. And what separates us? This wisdom, understanding, knowledge of the Heavenly Father, right? The Heavenly Father said, what, uh, um, uh, uh, what is this? It's in the Corinthians I'm thinking of. Touch not the unclean thing, roughly paraphrase that he will re re receive us, man. These other nations, these are in the philosophy that they fucking uh, believe in, right? So it says, let Israel rejoice in him that made him, man. And we're going to be rejoicing once the Heavenly Father allow us to fucking to destroy our enemies. That's when we really going to rejoice, man. That's going to be a happy day. They like the song, oh, happy day. When it, 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 they say that they say the J word, but we know Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai was, oh, happy days. It's going to be a happy day, right? We're going to be rejoicing in that day, man. It says, uh, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. It said, verse three, let them praise his name in the dance. And like I said, we're going to be rejoicing, man. We're going to be, um, what's the word I want to use? We're going to be uh, elated. Shalom, I guess. Yeah, shalom, man. Yeah, but What's up? Shalom, man. No, I ain't there. I'll be there in a little bit, though. I'm right here on 117. Yeah, I'm about to pull up right now. All right. So, that's the as a brother. Uh, Got to go link up with him. Um, it says, uh, let verse 3, let them praise his name in the dance. Right, and our people, we love to dance, man. You know, we're the most ryth rhythmic, if that's a word, we're the most rhythmic people on the planet Earth, man. We're the best dancers, right? We're the best dancers. Look at look at Michael Jackson, King, the King of Pop, man. Using him for an example, we're the best dancers, man. Can't nobody dance better than our people, man. Using Michael Jackson for example, look at Usher, right? The the Jake, you know. Look at Chris Brown, right? And this is how Jake danced in hell and in captivity. So how much more in the when the kingdom of heaven is established when we're ruling the planet Earth, man? You know how much how, how much more you think we're gonna be dancing in, man? If we dancing in hell, right? And Jake be getting down. We're the best choreographers. We're the ones who choreograph the best dance moves, man. Our people. So how much more in the kingdom? Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and the heart, right? Which these are uh, uh, instruments. Which, if I'm not mistaken, a timbre, you go into it, it's like a cymbal. Those things that, you know, the um, like they use in a church, right? The, the things with the bells on them, if I'm not mistaken. Brother can correct me in the comment board if I'm, if I'm wrong. And the, and the timbre and the timbre and harp, right? Um, it says, um, that's the spirit, because the harp, that's like a, a heavenly instrument, man, the harp. Right, when you hear the heart plays, it's a, that's like a heavenly instrument, man. Okay? It says, um, um, verse verse uh, 4, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, will start taking pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Right, the meek, 
with salvation. The meek are the ones who's going to be delivered, man, from this destruction that the Heavenly Father is about to send upon this place. And when you go into the word meek, it goes back to the, in uh, Matthew's the fifth chapter, when you go back to the word meek, it goes back to the Latin, the Greek word pros, right? And it's a long definition, but one of the, the definitions of that word is one wholly dependent upon the Heavenly Father. So those are the meek, the ones who wholly dependent upon the Heavenly Father, man, right? Um, And I'm going I'm to wrap this up, uh, Slocky. <laughs> No, the brother way said, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. We're going to do that. Let the high praises of the heavenly father be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. We're going to have a literal sword. When you go into the Maccabees, I forget which one of our forefathers, which one of the Maccabees um, brothers, they was they was um, uh, gifted a golden sword, if I'm not mistaken, man. Right? And But if a brother know what that scripture in particular and you watch this lesson put it in the comment boy i know it's in the maccabees second maccabees around the end of the of the, of the chapter so let the uh verse seven to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron so just like they did when they brought us over here on a cargo slave ship they put us in slavery they put the chain look at Django, right look at 12 years of slave right look at goodbye uncle tom these different movies uh uh paint a picture of us they illustrate if 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 you will right of us having feathers and eyes upon our neck man right and that's how you know we're the people of the heavenly father because when you type in yoke of iron on google that's all you got to type in you ain't got to type in yoke of iron slavery none of that yoke of iron black no no none of that all you got to do is type in yoke of iron and our people are going to pop up so we're going to do the same thing to these edomites man and that's going to be a joyful day it says to execute upon them the judgment written and the ultimate judgment that written in particular for these Edomites, man. A thousand years of captivity come together and burn their ass up pursuant to uh, Obadiah 1 and 18. And uh, a flame and, and, and Israel of a, a, a fire, roughly paraphrasing. And they shall, and Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle him. And there shall be not none remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken. And see, this is the judgment that's written for these Edomites, man. Right, and these other heathens, after the thousand years of slavery, they're gonna go into their land, they're gonna be at peace, they're gonna be at you know, you know, they're gonna be at peace, right? Okay, so it says, This honor have all his saints, praise ye the Lord, you know. So, with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out. I pray this was edifying. I want to give all glory on and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechak, that's the bond of the apostles, elders of great millstone, rule well. Shalom, wa khasala habaki, peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom, wa flabababa.